Okay, it's Sunday, April the 14th, 2024. And I'm about to take my birds, or at least some of them, on a flight. Now you can see some of them are acting wild in here because they honestly have never been caged up like this. So, but they're gonna go on a few miles here, maybe five miles. I'm gonna see how they do at coming home. I have all the birds on the back of the truck. And here we go. Some may get motion sickness. Okay, we are on the move. I think I'm gonna take them just two miles away and see how they do. Here by the National Cemetery in Dayton, Ohio. And they're about 1.6 miles away from home. Some of the younger birds did not come out because they are nervous and they will not be flying. I brought these two back with me because they are not ready. I would have lost them today, for sure. April 2024, waiting on my birds to arrive on a one and a half mile flight. And I've closed off the cage so they can't get in yet. I want to kind of count to see how many show up first. I'll let about 20 birds go. Okay, here some of them are now. I see about four. There's four of them sliding in. All right. <laughs> As you can see, those four on the roof of my house. I'm not sure where the other 16 are yet. There's another one that showed up, so that's five. There's number seven that just arrived. They're coming back in spurts, and that's not good. I like them to come back in a group. We have another one that just showed up. Well, we're at the end of the day, 8 p.m. I'm still missing about seven birds from the 17 birds that I flew this morning. And I remind you that they only were 1.6 miles away. So they can get lost pretty easy if they have never flown. And that's very short distance. Just to recap, I'm still missing about six birds. This is not uncommon for a few of them not to show up. Some of them are very young, first time flyers. A couple of the older birds has been around. I'm not sure what happened. Hopefully they didn't get captured by a hawk.